Hi guys, this is Mrs. Cookie. Welcome back here on my YouTube channel where I mainly do celebrity tarot readings. Please like and subscribe uh, to my videos and um, I'm very thankful for every single new follower who wants to join me here. Um, please also check out the description box. I offer private readings each month and um, they will be sent to you as a video recording uh, through email so maybe you want to have one and um, today i'll do a current energy reading on donald trump a lot of you have requested me to do this one i already did a, a 2024 u.s election reading so you may want to check that one out. And in my last election reading, I strongly sense that Donald Trump will be the win winner and become next US president again in 2024. Although it will be a very chaotic and difficult election this time. And um, I did meditation again, this time only on Donald Trump. I already saw that he will go through a lot of struggles, but I still stand by my prediction that we will see him in charge of leadership somehow in 2024. And yeah, I'll do a current energy reading now. Please, Spirit. Show me one card for Donald Trump at this point in time. What is his main energy? That's too much. One card on his main energy and his main focus at this point in time. And we got the temperance card talking about balance, peace, patience, moderation, inner calm, perspective, tranquility, harmonious relationships. So to me, it seems he's very balanced. He's weighing out his options. He's trying, he's trying to um, be peaceful. I sense that he's full of confidence at this point in time and he's juggling out all the legal issues um, that surround him. But still, even through in these hard times for him, he's trying to keep the balance and he, he found his inner peace for some reason. So. Yeah, that's his current state. So we will see. Please, Spirit, give me three cards. These two cards flipped out immediately. I will keep them. I need one more card for the next month for Donald Trump. Where will it lead him? This card flipped out immediately. It's the Eight of Swords talking about restriction, feeling trapped, restricted, backed into a corner, hands tied, victimized, paralyzed by fear, feeling pressure, hopeless, powerless, punishment and slavery. So all the legal uh, issues going around him, he feels they are only serving the purpose of bringing him down. He feels like a victim and hopeless sometimes because there are so many battles going around him. He almost feels like people are constantly looking for a reason to um, get him down and um, he's also paralyzed because there's so many things going on around him at this point in time. 
the second card that immediately showed up was the Nine of Cups. And this is one of the, it's the best uh, card, uh, in my opinion, you can get in Tarot. It's the Wish Fulfillment card. Wishes coming true, realizing dreams, happiness, fulfillment, positivity, optimism, satisfaction, success, achievements, and rewards. So this is Spirit again confirming my previous election reading I did. Donald Trump is facing his, the consequences of all the things he did concerning um, going against um, the law and breaking uh, laws. He is facing that right now and he has some heavy and... Um, hard times to overcome at this point in time because so many things are coming towards him and it feels like this could break him as a man and stopping him from running for U.S. president. But the cards tell me this won't uh, be successful. He will, this negativity around him will lead to him standing at the highest point in his life and a wish come true for him. And I, I strongly sense this is him having a huge success in the U.S. election. And maybe his greatest dream will come to, true to become a U.S. president again. That's what the cards show me here. The third card is the Eight of Wands, this is the Messenger card. Action, hastiness, speed, progress, movement, rushing, exciting times, momentum ahead, hard work paying off, re results and solutions. This is a very energetic card. And I think, although Donald Trump may feel paralyzed, as I told you, and feel stuck at this, in this uh, difficult legal issues and things that are brought up against him, it will be useless because his wish will come true and it will bring new energy to him and it will be very exciting for him. So I guess um, when I meditated on, on him before this reading, I also felt like there will be a change of events going on for Donald Trump and expect him to become the next U.S. president. This is Spirit again confirming my U.S. election video. So I'll pull one final card now from the Sacred Symbols Oracle deck. I want to see what Spirit wants to reveal us about the future of Donald Trump. And this, that's too much. And this year, 2024. Is there anything you want to show us, Spirit? We got the time card. And I will read this out of the book to you. Time. Divine timing is everything. You are not stuck or heading in the wrong direction. Drawing the hourglass asks you to have patience with whatever your current situation is. All will come to pass when the moment is just right. This card can also indicate that something you're waiting for is just on the horizon. The symbol is the hourglass. <clears throat> the hourglass gained popularity in the early Middle Ages to tell the passing of time. Its popularity rose with marine sand glasses on ships at sea. Most notoriously, they were used by pirates on their flags to strike fear into the hearts of their victims. So this is again a card talking about patience and patience and moderation also showed up here with a temperance card. And um, as the card told us, there's something waiting for him on the horizon, some kind of wish fulfillment, I feel. And this is spirit strongly confirming that it's just a matter of time that 
Donald Trump will take back the leadership role and his wish of becoming US president will be very close for him. Again, with this energetic card and action card here, when I look at this picture, the chances of Donald Trump becoming new US president are very high and significant. So I'll stop this reading now. I hope it helped you guys. Write me in the comment section what you think about this outlook and this reading in general. Please also, again, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet, because I put a lot of energy and work into my readings. And I'm happy if you guys appreciate that by following me. And um, yeah, this was it for today. Like the video and um, see you next time. Goodbye.